This video will show an example of creating a hyperbolic paraboloid surface, or saddle roof, using the rule geometry method of the shell tool. Let's view this in 3D. Here we can see an elliptical shape made of walls. These will define the contour of the shell. We will also create an elliptical hole in the shell. The four transparent walls will provide help in creating the profiles of the shell. These walls have a zero thickness. Their endpoints will be used for the definition of the nodes of the profile polygons. We use the shell tool using the rule geometry method and the detailed construction method. We click a wall to define the plane of the profile polygon, then define the profile by clicking the two opposite nodes of the wall. We create the other profile polygon on the opposite wall in a similar manner. The shell body is now created. We now select the shell, activate the Define Shell Contour command of the Context menu, Then, space click the reference line of the walls forming the elliptical shape. The contour of the shell is thus created. We now select the shell and all walls forming the ellipse and use the connect. Trim elements to roof or shell command of the context menu. We keep the use roof or shell from current selection option and click the Trim button to perform the trimming operation. All selected walls are now trimmed by the shell. Our only step left is to create the hole. We go back to the floor plan, select the shell, activate the Create Hole in Shell command of the Context menu, and space click the Drawn Smaller Ellipse in the middle. The 3D window shows the result. We can hide the four auxiliary walls as we don't need them now. We can now see the saddle roof is created using a ruled shell.